Eric McDonald, our athlete of the month. Eric, congratulations on that. Um, done a little bit of everything here. You started off in football, did some wrestling, and then swimming this year. Um, ended up going all the way to state, placing third. How did swimming come about, and 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 what was it like for you to get in the pool and start doing that? Um, swimming kind of came about from my dad because uh, he wanted me to get stronger from wrestling, and I I wasn't wasn't didn't know what was gonna not to what didn't know what to expect, and so um, my coach suggested I do it too. So I just got in the water and just kind of started swimming, and Jack Niles and Ali just kind of you know like they worked through me and really made me a great swimmer. Do you have any idea that you might make it all the way to state? No, I was, um, at the beginning, I thought I was just going to go to league and go home. So, yeah, I didn't, didn't think I was going to make it. Tell us a little bit about that experience, what it was like at state and uh, what the competition was like. Um, state was actually a really good experience, you know, a lot of great people. And um, the competition there was unimaginable. I mean, the best in the state all go there and saw some very fast swimming. And, you know, I'll definitely remember it. Right on. So what's next for you? We're going into the summer now. How do you get ready for next year and what are you going to focus on? Um, well, this summer I'm going to, it's a lot of wrestling and swimming. That's all it really is. I'm um, going to Arizona for wrestling camp and before that I'm swimming all year. And so getting ready for next year is uh, strength and conditioning with it. Yeah, I'm going to keep focusing and get better. Does placing third in state this year give you kind of a goal for next year and some extra incentive? Yeah, I'm going for number one next year, 100%. Uh, um, I really want that. You know, I, I mean, it's my first year, and now that I kind of see what it's about, I'm going for number one. I want it. Wow, fantastic. Tell us a little bit about what it's been like for you. Obviously, you're a great inspiration to so many people. What it's been like to you for you to overcome your obstacles? Um, you know, it's it's been confusing. You know, there's a lot of setbacks and a lot of effort that you kind of have to put in while you're not able to use, you know, your limb, you know. Um, it's a, a lot of stuff goes on behind the scenes that a lot of people don't see. And it's just constant, uh, constant, you know, just getting through it. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a part of my life, so I don't really notice it anymore. So, um, yeah, it's just it's a lot, I guess. And what were the challenges specifically for swimming that you were able to adapt to? Um. I think it was the the kicking part, you know. Um, swimming's a lot of kicking, and obviously since I only have one limb, I don't have as powerful as kick as someone else. So uh, I think it was uh, learning to use my upper body and train my upper body to acclimate and accommodate for uh, the missing limb. Well, fantastic. It's been great to catch up with you. Congratulations on finishing third in state in swimming and um, really wish you good luck and uh, congratulations once again on being our athlete of the month. Thank you, thank you.